wife in our, in our bed, and we're both using our phones, and um, as I'm falling asleep, my hand starts... my phone was still there. And that's like the real moment, the real aha moment that the Removed Project was born. Um, it was like I could see my wife and I from the perspective of my ceiling fan looking down at us and being so close physically but so emotionally and uh, kind of psychologically separated from one another. I really wanted to decide at the beginning um, kind of a strategy as far as what decisions I was going to make, um, whether I was going to shoot digitally and actually Photoshop the phones out, or uh, if it was going to end up being more performance-based, which is the route that I ended up taking. So after I photographed um, several family members and close friends, I started to take the camera out into the real world and use it as a way to almost subvert the way that our screens isolate us from the people around us. And so I'd have to find someone in, in public who seemed approachable and introduce myself in the project. We kind of start to stage this, and I move around as a photographer, and I recompose the situation uh, visually so that it works as a picture. And I um, come up to them, and I remove their phone, and I slide it from their hand. And as they're sitting there, you start to see that uh, the world is happening around them, but they keep their stare, and they're still doing their part to make the picture. But it seems like their, their wheel is really turning within their brain about what the relationship is to their phone. And so after I remove the phone and I, I focus the camera, I, I take the photograph, and then I come back and I give them their phone. And um, most of those uh, situations turned into relationships, so then those people stay in touch with me. Traveling, you know, across like kind of the southeast and, and a lot of the United States, like strangely universalizing tale. It's like we're we're all doing this one thing, one gesture, all at the same time, all around the world. I'm certainly not trying to say get rid of your phones and throw them away, but I really, really hope that people can start to, to think about moving forward in a very intentional way about how they use their device.